Hi, I'm Paul Kane of WashingtonPost.com, and in an effort to see if Senator Larry Craig's version of events hold up in real life, I recently visited the infamous men's room at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. Using the airport's spacious walkways, it took me just seven minutes to walk from Craig's arrival gate to the stalls. I passed four other restrooms before getting into the scene of the stance. The restroom in question is in one of the busiest sections of the airport, called North Star Crossing. There are all sorts of stores and restaurants and benches nearby for travelers, and lately it's become something of a tourist spot for politically aware travelers. At 12.13 on the day of his arrest, Senator Craig walked into the restroom and stared into the stall of an undercover officer. Two minutes later, he entered the stall next to the officer. By my measurement, using an Office Depot measuring tape, the stalls are a little more than 32 inches wide. Senator Craig says he accidentally bumped the foot of the officer in the stall next to him because he is, quote, a wide guy. But the undercover officer says the senator made several well-known suggestive signals, like tapping his foot and waving his hand under the stall. The senator says he took a wide stance to keep his pants from falling down while using the toilet. And he also says he didn't swipe his palm under the stall, but instead bent over to pick up a piece of toilet paper on the floor. Coincidentally, the night I was there, I found three different shreds of toilet paper scattered around that infamous stall, just waiting for some neat freak to come along and scoop them up. Six minutes after Craig entered the restroom, he was under arrest. Now, nearly three months later, he hopes a local judge will rule in his favor and understand what it means to take a wide stance in a 32-inch wide stall.